Hello, and welcome back to Casey Reviews. Uh, today we are going to take a look at Underwinter uh, by Ray F uh, Fox. Uh, this is from Image Comics. And it came out, as you saw, in our comic book haul for this week. Um, I like picking up issue number ones because you never know uh, what issue is going to grab you. That's kind of why I picked up like Moonshine or Glitter Bomb. Which, if you know and you've watched the reviews, are some of my top favorite comic books from last year. And Moonshine's continued that. Glitter Bomb just hasn't made any more. Uh, so I'd, I had no idea what this was going to be about, to be fair. I just thought, eh, it looks maybe like it's going to be like a ghost-type story or some weird cult-like story. So I was like, eh, we'll try it. Um, the art style is very, uh, different, it's come out kind of messy, uh, reminds me a little bit of the Arkham Asylum graphic novel, if you guys have read that, so if, if you like more detailed art, this is definitely not going to be what you want, because this is like the most detailed it gets right here, <laughs> which isn't bad. It didn't mind me, or it didn't, I didn't mind it because it gave it a different, you know, persona for the whole story, which is interesting. Uh, again, it's called Underwinter. Here are some of your writers and all that kind of stuff. And of course, it's by Image Comics. So, it's about a group of musicians. It obviously takes place in November, but they're having... There's this house, and I don't know where the house is or what it's about. It, they haven't really said it. There's still a lot of mystery, which is really kind of nice about it, I guess. Um, it seems maybe like an asylum or some, like, retreat for, like, an elite group or something. Uh, something's going on with people there. I don't know what, but... So these musicians are trying to get a gig and they end up getting a gig for the house. Really there's not a lot to spoil. That's pretty much the entire line. So I mean it's just talking about that and then they get the gig and without spoilers I really don't know how much more I can go. I mean there's quite a bit left but Alright, so this is going to be the end of the spoilers, because I want to talk about the rest. Uh, it starts off very slow, and I don't know if it's for everyone. And for now, we'll see if it gets any better. I'm going to give it a C-, minus, D+. Plus. That's about where I was throughout. Um, but here's the spoiler warning, so if you don't want to hear spoilers and read this completely uh, free thought, free thinking, stop here. Um, so they do end up taking it, and as you can see, here's this guy, he's just waiting for them to get there. They end up driving there, and he offers them $10,000 each. Um, if they can play the songs in the uniforms, so they have to wear certain clothing, and they have to be blindfolded while they play. As you can see, there's their clothing. And so they're playing in darkness, blah, blah, blah. And she says her... Uh, blindfold slips and she looks and she sees this like monstrous creature it looks like some Egyptian god thing probably like doing sacrifices and stuff I don't know that's where it ends obviously goes pitch black because she says she closes her eyes um yeah so I mean it's interesting enough I would probably pick up issue two just to see where it goes, because I could see this getting a lot better, I could see it staying where it is, or even getting worse, so, issue ones are really hard to tell anymore, some of them have been really good, and then just drop off, and some have been really bad, and gotten really good, uh, but until next time, everybody, Underwinter, I'm gonna give, probably, we'll give it a C-, minus. give it benefit of the doubt, we'll see if it gets better, alright?